What's B-roll? B-roll is the use of a camera to capture footage that enhances the story. B-roll does not contain any audio of its own. Instead, B-roll overlays on the main video and uses the audio from the main video. Think of B-roll as a supporting actor in a movie. You know what that was? That was B-roll. In this video, we'll learn about B-roll and get to know how B-roll all got started. So let's get started. Wait, did I say start it twice? In the prehistoric days of broadcasting, cameras were big and bulky. Live broadcast from the field was not possible. The news crew shot footage on 60mm film in the field, for example, a tennis game. To make broadcast more interesting, when news anchor was on live TV reporting on the tennis game, the crew projected their film shot in the field on a screen using a film projector. The crew then shot video of the screen using a TV broadcasting camera. The problem occurred when stories shot in the field including audio. For example, an interview with the restaurant owner describing his new restaurant. News crew will actually project the entire interview of the restaurant owner on the screen with a projector and then capture it with the TV news camera and broadcast that. Now, if the interview was two to three minutes long, you actually had to stare at the person talking for two to three minutes. Imagine if you were staring at me talking two to three minutes straight about B-roll, you will pull your hair. That's why I have this B-roll. To make interviews more interesting, crew shot footage of the restaurant owner and also shot additional footage of the restaurant. In the studio, when news anchor wanted to cut over to the interview, the news crew projected the interview of the restaurant owner on the screen using the first projector and used a TV broadcasting camera to capture the interview. To make the interview more interesting, when the restaurant owner started talking, the crew projected footage of the restaurant on the second screen using a second projector and used another TV broadcasting camera to capture footage of the restaurant while keeping audio from the first film. The film on the first projector was called A-Roll and the second projector B-Roll. It was complicated, with multiple stories and interviews on A-Roll and having multiple clips of B-Roll to support stories on A-Roll, getting the timing right to switch to B-Roll was tricky. So the news crew would often create B-Roll version of the tape with blank film stock filling out where A-Roll was playing. And that's how B-roll was born. I hope you found that interesting. It was very interesting for me to learn how they actually shot B-roll and projected B-roll on the screen to capture that. In today's modern world, there is no need to capture separate footage on another tape and project it on the screen and broadcast that. Instead, news crews can use their cameras to broadcast directly from the field. However, the name B-roll is still being used from the old days. So let me show you two versions of the video. The first one is just going to be me talking. The second one is going to include B-roll, including some of the drone shots and slow motion footage. And we'll also throw in some music and see what it looks like. Here's a video of me just talking. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I take $20 out of my pocket and I go to Subway. And I grab sandwiches for the homeless people. I love to see the smiles on their faces. Their smile makes my day. Now let's redo this and include some of the B-roll. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I take $20 out of my pocket and I go to Subway and I grab sandwiches for the homeless people. And that's all about B-roll. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in another video.